Hi everybody, Ben from Artless Ordinary. <clears throat> I am going to do a flip cup tonight. I have five cups here, which is Montmartre paints, black and white, purple, light purple, and cerulean blue. So I will be layering these probably two layers. And I have put in two drops of Montmartre silicon oil in the black, the blue, and the two purples, but not in the white. So I have used 45 grams paint and 45 grams of my... Elmer's clear glue 70%, water 30% mixture. So they're virtually one to one with pouring medium. I have three cups that I'm going to put it in and we are just going to get started. So I'm going to go at the purple first. So just put a bit at the bottom. Then we will do a layer of white. Try and do it as a layer and not um, pour it in heavy. So I just do it very lightly. Just rotate it until it covers the other color. Then we're going to go the light purple. Then we will go black. And then the cerulean blue over the top of that one. So as much as I try and do these even, there's always some slight, um, doesn't always come out exactly even. The cups end up being a little bit um, different layers. Just try to do your best. And I always seem to put more in on the first round than I mean to as well. But doesn't it's a flip cup. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can tell you that now. I just do my best to make them as even as possible. I would have made these paints up probably an hour ago. Um, the earlier you make them up, the slight better it is. The, any bubbles that form from using the glue mixture send, tend to, um, a lot of the bubbles disappear if you make it ahead of time.
And last colour. Okay, so that's all. That's them done. Now I am going to put gloves on before I go too much further so I don't get covered in paint. Actually, I might flip my cut. So I always swap the middle one and the end one over because that one there always ends up with less paint. And now the gloves are going on. Why they have a chance to settle and sink down to the bottom of the cup. Okay, and this black is giving me these little fractals again. So I am probably going to try this using a different brand black to see why I get the fractals, whether it's the colours and the black that react or whether it's the brand. So we'll see how it goes. All right, these have settled long enough. Time to flip. Okay. Just pouring the excess on to the edges, which will end up disappearing anyway. And number three. Alrighty. Now, I do have my corner catcher ready. So I'm going to start tilting. So I'm just going back and forth, getting the paint down to the bottom area. And I am going to use the corner catcher this time. So I'm going to go over to this corner. Get it right in to the corner and then come back. And just move it back to the middle. Then I'm going to put it on this corner. And then come down. Paint into the corner. Bring it back a little bit, remove this, so I'm just going to hold this in the corner, but we're going to move the paint back up the canvas, a lot of that blue's disappeared hasn't it, hopefully that will come through with the cells. So 
So up into this corner, all the way into the corner, come back a little bit, take that off and put that on this corner, bring the paint back down a little bit to the middle and then we'll go over this way. Okay, now back out of the corner. Take my corner catcher off. So I don't always use the corner catcher when I do flip cups. But I decided this time I would. Okay. Now we've got the paint in the middle. So as you can see, I've got these fractals coming up. Again, don't know why the black paint seems to do it. And it only seems to do it when I use the black. I'm getting my gloves off because they get in my way. And as you can see, I probably have one of the cleanest blow torches out of most acrylic pourers because I'm a little bit pedantic and I don't like my blow... I don't like my utensils to be covered in paint. So I'm always... Cleaning as I go, trying my best to keep my work area neat and tidy. Some days it doesn't stay as tidy as I would like. So I'm not getting too close. I'm just slowly going over the top from a distance, seeing if any bubbles pop when I pop or if any cells want to form. And then we just slowly get a little bit closer. You can usually tell when cells are going to form because you get a tiny little dots appear that swell up. Oops, it's a little bit close there. It's not always as easy to get a couple to form without a little cluster developing. So you've got to just take it easy. And you will notice, if you've done this before, certain glues will give you cells easier than other glues. It's not always easy when you want just one or two to pop up without getting too many cells pop up in that spot little bit of a challenge sometimes okay don't put your blowtorch where it's going to touch anything alrighty so the the one issue I have with the black in this Montmartre is I find it does want to kind of make a lot of my images very dark um, when, when I used other brands, the, the black was there, but it wasn't always so heavily black. So um, 
I'm going to try you doing a few without using this brand black and see what difference I actually get. But I'm quite happy. I like the colours that come through. So we definitely got the blue that came through. We got white. We got the pur both purples. And we still got some heavier black with some lighter colours come through. I don't want to torch this anymore. I quite like it the way that it is. Um, I don't want to move the canvas or stretch it. I Sometimes you can give it a bit of a little wiggle to kind of make the cells grow a little bit more. Um, I don't usually do that. I'm still... With flip cups, you, each one, each person has their own kind of style and technique about it. I, I enjoy doing it this way. So here's one I did using similar colours, but I had, um, I think it's magenta or something in there. So this is dried now, nice and dried. But this one got some bigger cells popped up earlier. Um, this one didn't seem to do that, which I'm quite happy about. I only got the cells that came up once I started torching. But really nice. Um, dries quite well, quite firm. Um, so I think that we are kind of done here. Just it will develop into itself a little bit more. Not a lot. This paint doesn't change a lot afterwards unless your canvas is uneven. So we always scrape our sides and make sure that we have got everything off. And I've missed a tiny little bit on the edge there. Forgot to check my corners after the tilting. That was just that one little bit. These cups. So these cups kind of get really cool patterns in them, which I really like. I knew I was going to get paint on my hands. I always do when I take my gloves off. Excellent. I like this. I like the colours. I think this looks kind of pretty cool. My my style. Um, I was going to do it without any black at all. But I like having some darkness in it. But I am going to do a few more without the black and see what actually happens there. See if it, um, how it reacts differently. But I will bring you down for a close up so we can see this in a bit more detail. Okay, there we go. Colours are close-ish, not as exact in real life as they are in the camera. The light purple is probably a little bit more washed out in the camera. But as you can see, we've got really cool cells. Look how awesome they look. We've got blue ones. Yeah, the purple's coming out a little bit pink colour, and even the blue's not coming out as rich. Does it get darker when I put my finger in there? Not really. Sometimes it does. But we've got really nice cells developed. I wish the colours came out a little bit, real, bit more real in the camera as they do in real life. I come down this side and see the black around? Um, the black in the background, how I get these fractal patterns come up that's the black reacting so I get that whether I use silicon or so these where's my finger there we go this bigger one here is actually a silicon these black ones here are reactions with paint um, and some of them look really cool like see those ones in the background they're pretty awesome but I just don't know why I seem to get it with that one brand. So, this is the finished artwork. I hope you like it. hope you enjoyed the video. And 
Over the month of December, I may only be doing a video once every two days instead of every day. Um, busy with Christmas and um, work's busy. Every, life gets quite busy in December, like most people get. So I'll try and do a video each day, but if I don't, it will be every second day. So please bear with me. We'll be back to normal um, next year with doing one every day. It's only one month. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, so let me know what you think. So comment, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. So enjoy your night everyone and we'll see you for another pour. Alright, catch you later. Bye.